Okay, Beth, we worked on E9. So your open E we started on, then you progressed to E5. Now we've shifted to E9. And it's a three string pattern, down, down, up. Three, two, one. So you go up just to me. Do. Descend to so. Do, ti, la, so, so, la, ti. Minor. Do, te, le, so, so, le. Okay, your major blues scales sound great. You've had a lot of fun with them. Keep going. Um, your minor blues scales, it took you a second to catch up to what I meant. So let's focus on those this week. Oh, three, oh, one. There's your passing tone. First fret, middle voice. Oh, three, oh, one, two, oh, two. And then repeat for A, D, and G. And then mostly today we talked about <clears throat> finger picking. So landslide is played with a C chord. Capo two would make it a D. Capo four would make it an E. Five would make it F, and seven makes it G. We've gone up a perfect fifth from C to G. Okay, and we talked a lot about the walk down principle. So if, if you think about C as your tonic, G over B, which we added a pinky this week to the second string, is the leading tone. Do, do, ti, do, ti, do, ti. So that's the principle of the walk down or the walk up. If you start from the relative minor, you can walk up to the relative major. And then Lanside uses the same trick in G. Do, ti, do, ti, la, ti, do. Makes a bass line. Okay, so <clears throat> you can continue to play the chord version. And when you're doing that, you just have to remember that the A minor seven if you're staying in the verse, you play the G over B next, and that takes you to C. But if you're moving on to the chorus, you substitute the D7 over F sharp, which takes you to the G. And that's the that's the crux of it. That's the crossroads. That A minor seven, G over B, back to C, or conversely, A minor seven, D7 over F sharp, onward to G for the chorus. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So. Um, here's the picking pattern. It's a Travis style means that your thumb is playing quarter notes on separate bass strings. From Merle Travis, an old um, country picker. Uh, okay, and then you want to do T I T M T I T. That's thumb index and thumb middle. Same thing on G over B. A minor seven. It's more like, but you have that nice quarter note at the end of each um, chord to help you transition. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Now if you want to apply this to the chorus, just remember that for all the chords that have roots on the sixth string, that means G, D over F sharp, and E minor, the thumb is now skipping from six to four. But otherwise, the pattern's unchanged. I would focus on the verse, and if you're really feeling it, add the chorus and just start skipping from six to four for those low three chords. And then finally, we notice that feeling groovy is basically the same thing, but a little bit more swinging, a little bit more up tempo. Uh, you take your C chord, capo three, and the C is the anomaly. You play five, three, one. And then G over B, you pinch, and you go pinch, three, four. Again, pinch. Same thing on the one finger A minor seven. Pinch three four. Then on the 
one finger G, you do pinch six and two. Three, four, three. Pinch, three, four, three. So in context, it's. That's it. Have fun.